Hello friends, my name is Kamlesh and in this video I am going to show you how you can replace a smaller size of disk with a bigger size of disk in LVM and we are going to perform this task online and I would suggest if you are trying if you are going to perform this activity in future in any of the production box you should keep a healthy backup of your file system and then try to perform those steps whenever you are working on any file system extension a good healthy backup is always recommended so in this activity I'm going to show you we have a couple of disks in my VM so let's take a look so in this example we will be setting up everything from scratch and then we will fill up some data on to some smaller file system and we will replace the existing disk from LVM to a bigger size of the disk. So the current example we have dev STC, which is a 512 and it's a 536 meg and we'll set up an LVM and we'll fill up this data, some data on this drive and later we'll replace it with the dev STD. So let's start with our activity and first we'll say pv create dev STC1 and sudo vg create data vg dev stc1 okay and so now we have our vgs and one data vg is set up and sudo pvs shows us we have one drive which is dev stc and we have find out 8 meg and this is free to use so we'll set up one LV, LV create hyphen L. I'm going with 100% extent use, so and we'll give it a name is LV data, and it will be created from the data VG. So don't worry about the signature because I've been using the same disk for my previous videos, so it's detecting the file system signature from those. So I would say yes and then it shows here the LVS so we have now this LVS data here and if we run here sudo pvs once again we can see dev sdc is used in data vg and it's a hundred percent full use and there is zero percent zero free p is available so let's make a file system on this newly created LV so data and LV data so I'm going to mount this file system to some drive C so sudo mkdir my data slash my data sudo mount dev data vg lv to slash my data so df-h slash my data shows this is a 484 meg and this is 2.3 meg is used and we have 453 MB free let's change this to my data and we'll try to write some data to it so when we are performing the move we'll see how the, if the data are consistent and if those are available so input file equal to slash dev 0 output file equal to to test one and block size equal to 100 meg and count equal to we'll go with five we'll we are going to okay uh, 484 so let's fill it up with the four okay so 419 MB data M is written to this drive and we can see this is 403 MB is used and 53 meg is left. Even if you want, we can go with the color capacity of the drive and 1 meg and count, we can put it as 52. Let's see. Okay. So DFFNH, oh sorry, I removed the earlier one. Okay, we have to give a, give a file name is a different one so test 2 where dd command has overwritten the my earlier 
data which we try to write to this disk. Okay, now we can see, so it's a 459 MB it's used and it's 100% this file system is completely utilized. So at this stage, if we get a request from our client and they say we need some space in my data and you as a system administrator, you decide to and we find out there are the smaller disks are used and you would like to replace the smaller disk from the LVM and replace it with the bigger capacity of the drives if you have available with you. So what we can do here is as in previous command we have seen we have grab SD so we have SDD drive which is 1073 Mac so I'm going to use this drive and we'll replace it with the SDC and this complete activity we are going to perform it online so let's see how we can proceed further so I'm going to recreate dev SDD okay so do PVS as you can see here, so Dev SDC is a part of data VG and it's a finite 8 MB and it's completely utilized. So we have added now Dev SDD and so 1 gig and it's a completely 1 gig is free. So let's extend the data VG with this newly drive. So sudo VG extend data VG Dev SDD. Now run it again once again as we can see now so the SDD is part of our data VG now so now we are going to move what our data which is available from here Dev SDC to Dev SDD what we'll do is we'll take the PBS output so temp PBS dot out okay and just for comparison purposes, so you know, I can show you our rather than scrolling the logs. So, sudo pv move and our source data uh, drives SDC1, and we are moving all the data from SDC to Dev SDD. So, Dev SDD. This pv move command depends upon, it takes some time, it depends upon the data, how much data you have available in your drive. So in our case it is a 459 meg, so it should not take much time. But if you are working on some bigger capacity of the data which has some gig or terabytes data, then definitely it's going to take longer time. And the backup wire, why I suggested in some point in case if this PV move gets interrupted, so it's a very difficult, we might not get the data. So I would always recommend whenever you are working on any production or any critical system, you must take the backup of your important files. So later in case if there is some issue, you have good backup and you can restore data. So we have completed with the PV move. Let's run the pseudo PVS output once again and see what we can see now. So as compared to the output what we have taken earlier, or you can see it from the earlier output here. So this is the difference here. So now which find out 8 MB the PV which was not free, now we can see it's 100 percent free. And from our 1020, the data is which this call got copied to 1020. So now we are left with the 512 MB. So now we can remove this dev SDC because since it is not utilizing any, it's completely free and it, we can safely remove this from our data VG. So sudo VG reduce data VG dev SDC1. Okay. So when we run sudo vgs once again, as you can see, now data vg has only one PV and the Dev SDC has, has gone from, it's no longer part of data vg. So even we can remove it from the PV itself, so PV remove Dev SDC1. So sudo pvs doesn't show. And if you check our data, what we had written to the my data, so if you come to ls-l and we can still see that the files which we created are available. So ls-lh if you see one should be 400 meg and seconds 452. So 
we have performed this complete activity online and even if you would like to see the earlier because the threshold which was the file system which was hitting as 100% is still there so but now as we can see we have space available in our volume group which is 512 mag free so we are good to extend this file system with another I would say like plus 200 mag and dev data vg and uh, lb data so, sorry so it's lb data lb data okay so we have to resize resize 2fs and escape dot is the shortcut which returns your previous input so I just use the escape dot and so now you can see this my data file system is now should have come up come down from 100% to 79% after extending it 200 megabit so this is the activity which we have completed per, uh, completed uh, an online activity but again I would suggest you guys to play safe because whenever you are working with some critical system have a healthy backup and go ahead with your task so this is the way we can extend and replace the smaller size of the disk with higher size of disk in LVM okay so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestion please put in on in comment I would try to improve my videos furthermore. Thank you once again.